there were around 3,000 people in the festival. Over 260 of them died, slaughtered to death. Some kidnapped. I guess almost 10% of the whole event was just erased. My name is Jonathan Diller. I'm 28. I'm an Italian-American citizen, and I live in Israel. I survived the horrifying terror attack at the music festival. My friend and I and, and all, our, all our group were dancing. Suddenly at 6.30, we just saw rockets, <laughs> dozens of rockets on top of our head. We weren't surprised. Uh, this is something that has happened in the past, rockets being launched to Israel. We knew the drill. Suddenly I see this woman uh, doing this U-turn and just see her, her knee that, that was shot, that was bleeding. We tried to find something to block her, block her wound, try to close it with, with our shirts, uh, bring her water. They're shooting around us, and we just heard dozens of gunshots. In the meantime, she was right in, just dying in front of her eyes. We went to the river uh, east from our, from our location. We were hiding and just waiting for things to, to end. But slowly, slowly, we were hearing more gunfire, and heavy gunfire, and bullets on top of our head. And I was screaming, everyone, just lay down and put your head down, and just keep moving forward keep moving east, away from the compound, away from the event. We just kept walking. And unfortunately, there were people that, that stayed there. These people were, I guess, just not, not lucky. So we were walking for hours and hours. We were all exhausted. We, we didn't have any water, no food. While we were walking, there were dozens of missiles on top of our head. We finally got to the outskirts of the closest village uh, called Patish. We saw people waiting for us with cars, uh, calling us in Hebrew and just waving. We were all just running to them, not knowing where we're going, but we know we're going to some, some, somewhere safe. There were hundreds of people from the event. They, they can't find their, their friends. Uh, we understood that um, they were really lucky because the ones that, that left first are the ones that interacted with the terrorists. But if we didn't see that gunshot, of the injured woman in the beginning, we didn't think that this would be such a big and horrifying event.